What's up everyone, this is Tom with Jailbreak Nation. Today I thought I'd show you the top 10 tweaks, at least in my opinion, that are compatible with iOS 6. Since the iOS 6 untethered jailbreak is right around the corner, it makes sense to do this now so that you can install these tweaks on your jailbroken iPad minis or iPhone 5s in the next few weeks. These are in no particular order, and I'm not going to go into a huge amount of depth into each one, as chances are I've already covered it, just give my channel a search to see if I have if you're interested. First off is Barrel. Barrel's a hugely popular jailbreak tweak which allows you to add transitions between the pages on your springboard. There's quite a few to choose from, and some of them just go from slightly crazy to more classy, and are a lot more interesting than the boring old slide to the side that default iOS uses. If you haven't bought or heard of this tweak yet, I don't know what rock you've been living under for the last few years, definitely go ahead and check it out, it's definitely worth it. This one's called Now Now. I showed you this a few days ago in a different video, and it basically gives you Siri-like functionality in the form of Google Voice Search. But it allows you to activate it via the hold of a home button, much like you do for Siri on Siri-enabled devices. Very useful for devices that currently are incompatible with Siri, or doesn't have Siri support, or if you just prefer Google Voice Search over Apple's personal assistant. Next is Dashboard X, and I'll take this opportunity to show you NC settings too. Dashboard X allows you to place notification center widgets on your home screen of your device. So for example, I could add NC settings, which is a toggle based notification center widget, which is actually a really awesome tweak. You can toggle various different things like brightness and all of that kind of stuff, and then use it on my home screen. And you can add widgets, resize them, move them around to your liking. Just there are a couple of really, really great tweaks, especially if you use them together. But again, Dashboard X is not limited to this. You can use it with many other notification center widgets. Camera tweaks up next, and it gives you a load of customization tweaks within the default camera application on iOS. So for instance, you can lock the exposure independently from your focus, or shoot a time-lapse photo, it even adds features such as a shutter timer to get that perfect shot, and it makes up for the rather boring iOS camera user experience. Another great tweak is called Deck, and it provides a centralized deck of functions that you can access by simply assigning an activator action. You can change a whole host of features with it, such as brightness, various different radios that you currently have active, and a whole, whole lot more. But the thing that sets Deck apart from the other toggle-based tweaks is the beautiful interface it's presented in, with high-quality graphics, smooth animations, and everything in between. SB Coders is a developer, and all of his tweaks are up to this high standard, but I'm pretty sure that this is the only one compatible with iOS 6. G-Power Pro is actually a tweak that I get asked about all the time, and it's because I keep it on my devices almost permanently, which means you guys have seen it a lot in my videos, and it allows you to respring and reboot your device in the same screen that you can power off your device, simply by the swipe of the red bar at the top. Works very well, very simple, and also very reliable. ProTube 2 is also a nifty jailbreak tweak, and for this I really need to go into a lot more detail because there's a huge amount of detail in this tweak, so give it a search on my channel. But it's essentially an add-on to the standard YouTube app within iOS 6, and it provides extra functionality to the app, such as streaming settings, quality settings, all of that good stuff, or the ability to download certain videos, it also stores them on your device. There's a huge amount of additions into this one, and it varies from the original ProTube by using the App Store variant of the YouTube application since, you know, that was that whole balava with YouTube not being included in iOS 6. Also available is Ostium, and this is a very cool tweak which allows you to have a elevator style notification center animation. As you can see, when you invoke notification center just by sliding your finger down, you get the notification coming in from the sides, much like an elevator style effect. Very, very cool, and again, compatible with iOS 6. Finally, we have iWidgets. This is very similar to Dashboard X, but is relatively inferior in my opinion, due to Dashboard X being able to use any notification center widget, whilst iWidgets supports HTML-based widgets, which need to be coded specially. Nevertheless, a decent jailbreak tweak, and there are a few nice widgets within Cydia, which you can find with a simple search of iWidgets in the Cydia store. There you have it, that's my opinion of the best jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 6. Chances are I've missed a few out, so tell me what yours are down below. Also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, especially if you're excited for the iOS 6 untethered jailbreak, and I'll catch you next time. This has been Tom, we're Jailbreak Nation.